This is how you build an MCP server so you can connect your agent to Yahoo Finance, but really just about anything. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It was released on the 26th of November by Anthropic and it has kind of achieved the same cult-like status as Langchain, but why? Well, MCP gives AI engineers a way to define a tool once for agents, but reuse it everywhere. This means you're not going to have to refactor code each time a new framework, startup, or YouTuber tells you to. I'm gonna show you how to build your own for trading data in 10 minutes. But can you really connect them to anything? And do they only work with paid LLMs and expensive GPUs? And and will making one allow you to ball out like Sam? Getting back to Python YouTubing after a year has been a bit rough and the connection commands are a bit of a pain, but I'm gonna break it down for you in just three steps and it begins with building the server. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is create a function to be able to go and get stock prices. Typically to do that, I define a Python function kind of like this. I'll bring in Y Finance to get data from Yahoo Finance and define a stock ticker. In this case, we're using the stock code Apple. We'll also use the data.history function to be able to go and get data over the last month. Then I'm gonna slice out just the closed price and print out the result and with a little bit of formatting from Colorama. Now, if I run this using uv run server.py, I should get back some prices. This is just a function though. We really need to wrap this into an MCP server. To do that, we're gonna bring in the fast MCP class from the MCP SDK. And then I'm going to create a server. In this case, I'm going to name it Y Finance Server. All I have to do now is wrap the Python flow inside of a function. In this case, I'm gonna call it stock price and add the MCP tool decorator to tell the MCP server that it has access to this capability. We'll add a doc string so that way the agent knows how to use this tool and what it does and then tap in the Python flow so that it's a valid function. I may have accidentally left the return statement in while recording this, but you do need to add that right here. Then we're going to tell the server what to do if the script is run. In this particular case, we're going to be running mcp.run and we're going to use the standard input output transport. There's two different transport modes, SSE or server sent events and STDIO or standard input output. You'd use standard input output for these use cases or SSE for these use cases. After that brief interlude, all I had to do is take the stock ticker argument and pass that to the yf.ticker function. That way I can dynamically pass through the stock ticker to the server tool. So from a technical perspective, that's our server done, at least the baseline version of it. So how do we actually test this out? The MCP SDK comes with a visual inspector, so you can test it out before taking down prod. To run it, I'm gonna pass through the command uv run mcp dev and then target our server.py file. This should start up the server and you can see that the proxy server is now running and this is me being impatient. You can see that we now have the server up and running. I can copy that, chuck it back into Google Chrome. From here, I can connect my MCP server. You can see the transport type here, the command to run and the arguments here, as well as the button to connect. Once I hit connect, you'll see the green traffic light displaying the fact that I'm connected. And now you can see all of the capabilities that are available through the MCP server. I'm gonna focus on tools for now. We'll come back to the others a little bit later because they're not as important. Once I hit list tools, you'll see that we have our stock price tool now showing as available. I can test this out by passing through a stock ticker and then hitting run tool. Let's type in NVDA or NVIDIA for now and take a look, we've got stock prices returned. So this means our tool is successfully working. You can play around with this, try passing through a bunch of different stock tickers. They should return back the stock prices over the last month. So we've built the server, but how do we actually connect it to an agent and get some use out of it? This brings us to step two, connecting it to an agent. I'm gonna bring in the small agents library from Hugging Face to do this. There's five steps I need to go through in order to build this up with the hope that we're able to connect our agent to be able to get stock prices using our MCP tool, just like we did in the inspector. First thing I'm gonna do is bring in tool calling agent, tool collection, and the light LLM model class from small agents. Then bring in the STDIO server parameters from MCP. This is gonna help us connect. Then I'm gonna create an instance of the light LLM model. I'm gonna set the model ID to an Olama instance of Quen 2.5. 14B and set the context size to 8192. Here's where the connection to MCP server comes in. I'm gonna set up the STDIO server parameters and the command is going to be uv run server.py, effectively what we ran at the command line to start the inspector. Then all we need to do is get the tool collection using tool collection dot from MCP. We're gonna pass the server parameters to that. Then we're gonna create a new tool calling agent. We're gonna unpack all of the tools from the MCP server and specify that we wanna use our light LLM model there. Then we can run a prompt to our agent by running agent.run and here I'm gonna pass through what was IBM's last stock price. So hopefully when we run this, we now get the stock price back from our agent. To run the agent, all we need to do is run uv run agent.py. This kicks off the workflow, it gets stock prices back, which you can see here and returns the final stock price. We can also change a prompt and get highly performant results. In this case, we can ask about stock price movements as opposed to a point estimate. And you can see the results here. 
Now we've connected it to an agent, but what if we really wanted to connect it to other capabilities, maybe like Cursor or Langflow or other tools? Well, this brings us to step three, connecting it to other capabilities. Inside of Cursor, hit the little gear button. You'll then see MCP on the left. We can then add a new global MCP server. This is going to open up a JSON document. All we need to do here is define the command to run our MCP server. We're going to define a new tool called stock tools and then pass through the command UV. You've seen this before, UV run server.py. We then want to pass through a directory flag to tell our server exactly where our server file is. In this case, I've just copied it from my file, users, Nicholas Renault, desktop work, MCP video, but you can point this to where you've got your server.py file located. Now, if I go back, boom, stock tools are now running. Then I can open up a new chat inside a cursor, just make sure that I'm in agent mode and I can ask a prompt, like what was IBM's last stock price? And if we run it, this is gonna ask you if you wanna run the MCP tool, we can hit run MCP tool and boom. That looks pretty good. Now, stock price is kind of basic. What if we wanted to add more tools to our server? How might we do that? It's the same set of steps that we use for our stock price tool. This time, we're gonna create a stock info tool to get some background information about the company. Again, we're gonna define the MCP tool decorator. Then I'm gonna define a new function called stock info, which is gonna take in one argument being stock ticker. Define the doc string so the agent knows how to use it. Then grab the ticker from Yahoo Finance. And last but not least, return a nicely formatted string which contains the stock ticker and the info attribute. I can then test this out by updating the prompt inside the agent. To run it, same procedure as before, UV run agent.py and this should kick off and give us a summary. I wanna add in one more tool into our server cause I'm gonna show you how to integrate it into one last platform. And this one is a ton easier. So we're gonna add in an income statement tool. This is pretty straightforward. We're gonna define our decorator, create a function called income statement. We're then going to define our doc string so our agent knows how to use it. We're then gonna get our ticker again and return a nicely formatted string so that we're able to render this back into our agent. All right, final capability, I wanna show you how to integrate it into Langflow. I'm gonna show you some of those other bits and pieces in a sec as well, but first up, Langflow. So I've got a basic Langflow agent here, which is using Olama and the basic agent class. To bring in my MCP server, I can bring up the MCP server component, turn on tool mode. Then all we really need to do is update the MCP command. We're gonna use the same command we've used throughout our other integrations. UV dash dash directory, we're then gonna copy the full file path to our file and then we're going to run server.py. Then if we refresh the connection and open up the tools, we should be able to see all of our stock tools. Then all we have to do is connect our MCP server tool set to the tool node inside of the agent. Then we should be good to go. Open up the playground, create a new chat. And if we type in what is IBM's EBITDA, this should be coming from our income statement tool. And take a look, we've called out to the income statement tool and we're getting the information back. If you scroll across, you'll actually be able to see the data. And if we open up the bottom, take a look, that's our EBITDA. Now, remember here where I said there's other capabilities inside of the MPC server, and I said they weren't that important. Well, I still wanna show you how to use them anyway. The first of the other two main capabilities are prompts. This allows you to store prompt on the MCP server. Previously, we've been using the MCP tool decorator. Now we're gonna use the MCP prompt decorator. Then I'm gonna create a function called stock summary. So this is gonna be a stock summary prompt. We're gonna pass through some stock data as an argument, and then we're really just gonna build up a prompt template it. It's going to be a string which we pass through our stock data to. So in this case, it's going to say you're a helpful financial assistant designed to summarize stock data, so on and so forth. And then we're going to return our stock data. Now, if we jump back into the inspector and hit prompts, we'll be able to list out our prompts. Boom, there's our stock summary prompt. We can then enter some theoretical stock data, really whatever you like. And if I hit get prompt, that's our prompt now produced. So you can see that we've got our prompt template with our hypothetical stock data injected. Alrighty, on to the next capability. Now we're gonna take a look at resources. This is directly from the documentation. Resources represent any kind of data that an MCP server wants to make available to clients. This can include file contents, database records, API responses, live system data, screenshots, log files, and more. Alrighty, so we're gonna create a resource that allows you to search up a stock ticker. This could also be considered a tool, but I've built it up as a resource here. We're gonna be importing Chroma DB. I've got an existing vector database that I've prepared that you're gonna be able to use. I'll include this in the code. It's called TickerDB, and we're gonna be looking at the stock tickers collection. Most importantly, we're now gonna be using our MCP resource decorator. This is gonna take through our stock name or our search term create our function and add in our doc string, then make a query to our collection. We're only gonna return the top first result and then return it as a string. Now, if I jump back into the inspector, hit list templates, you'll see that we've got our list tickers function. If I search for Apple, take a look, we've got our result from our vector database showing the Apple stock ticker. That's MCP in 10, catch ya.